That bitch got a rumble to it. What's good, Pride Squad, man? It's your boy JR here back with another video. Man, if it's your first time at the channel, welcome to it. You came at a very ideal time, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the middle of test driving a, uh, 2019 scat pack and it is definitely been interesting the short amount of time that i have had and the short amount of time that i will have it because it's not really a test drive it's more you know my car is in the shop this is a rental this was available why not you feel me uh but anyway man so <clears throat> got a call this morning and uh yeah they got the car ready they found out what it is that was causing the drain and whatnot. So we about to head up to Precision Tune. Gonna holler at uh, Rance. It's the guy that was, uh, you know, checking my car out and stuff. Shout out to him, man, because he definitely is a knowledgeable cat. So um, yeah, went out to Precision Tune and we're gonna check it out. Uh, hopefully we can pick it up. I'm solo dolo right now, so I'm gonna be, you know, kind of shuffling around cars. But uh, yeah, so I'll just holler at y'all when I get to Precision Tune. that that was a real old truck y'all but okay anyway um so i'm back up here at precision tune i don't care they called me and they told me what the problem was they said that it was the remote start um so i'm gonna go in here i'm gonna holler at rents uh that's the guy that you know been working on my stuff um and I mean, i'm glad it was him because he's a very knowledgeable cat and i really appreciate him uh but yeah there, there she is right there man she's sitting right there battery's completely disconnected and um, so I'm gonna go in here and check this out. I'm gonna holler at him real quick. Yeah. And I'm gonna get back with y'all <clears throat> in a minute. And I'll explain to y'all, you know what I'm saying, what's the issue and we're gonna see if we can get it, get it, get it popping. But ah, here we go, I'll be back. All right, so I uh, went in and talked to Rance and basically saying that the remote start system, something in the remote start system is not agreeing with the car and as far as the communication. And when to turn it off or whatnot so the uh remote star system is pulling i think they said 0.4 to 0.7 amps um and that's what's killing the battery overnight so basically like he was saying they noticed that the instrument cluster was you know staying on um when the car was off even like a few hours later it was still staying on but he pulled a fuse and every i mean but he you know checked the fuse and stuff and he noticed that the remote start system was definitely pulling more than it should so with that being said i'm going to take it up to soundproof audio and that's who installed it i didn't buy the system the the kit the remote start kit from them but i did have them install it so um it's nothing that soundproof did wrong or anything it's probably just maybe uh it could be like a firmware uh update that needs to be done uh on the system you know and you know that could probably fix it but for right now i'm just going to have them have soundproof disconnect the remote start kit and you know i just won't have it for a minute until i you know figure out something else that i want to do um you know with that situation but for right now i just need my car to crank up when i need it to crank up you feel me so uh, i'm over here at precision tune now and i'm about to go over here and look at them there she go man so I'm about to go over here and um, it's going to be an interesting task to crank up the car because I'm going to have to climb through the back seat and pull the little lever thing to uh, unlock the trunk so that I can hook up the battery because it's completely disconnected right now. And I'm going to run the car up to soundproof. Hopefully it doesn't take, I know that they're busy and I really hope that, you know, that they can go ahead and dis uh, disconnect that remote start kit so I can be on my way but anyway so i'm gonna holler at y'all when i get the car up and running again all right so before i uh, connect this battery 
We got a little pop-up guest coming through. We got Mr. KP over here. We got him rolling in. <laughs> We're doing the Martian Green. We want to come out and check out the Scat Pack. What's up, man? Oh, bad day? I got two challenges right here. I'm not having a bad day at all. <laughs> What's going on with you, bro? Yeah, man. So, I got telling them, man, I'm trying to... I'm going to hook the battery up to this one so I can take it up to soundproof so they can disconnect the remote start because that's what was killing the battery. I'm just going to take this car up there and uh, let them work on it or whatever. Oh, he said, he said we want to do a burnout. <laughs> Hey, it ain't time to buy new tires that play. Right, we can't yeah, do no burnouts. Hey, we'll <laughs> we pay with a thousand set of tires. Hey, y'all got a free set of tires? No, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead on and take a, uh, drop it on off up here, man, and come on back, I guess. Well, I'm. Dog, look at mine, bro. Like, I ain't washed it. Look at this. I got, I done killed some insects and shit. I got paint peeling. I ain't even going, you know, it is what it is, man, so. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect this battery. I gotta go through the back seat, connect it, and I'll pop the trunk. Can't press the button because it got the battery completely disconnected. Yeah, so I gotta go and do that so I can run this up there to them before they close, hopefully. So I'm, I'm just gonna have to chill up there, actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to chill. Hey, I won't mind if you do a burnout. <laughs> I'll let you hear the boiler attack, though. All right, guys, so got the battery back connected, so let's go on here, somewhat of a semi cold start. All right, so got Aries back up and running. She sounding good for right now, you know what I'm saying? But we got to go and get this problem fixed. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to lock up the scat pack. I'm going to lock up the scat pack and we're going to make our way on over to Soundproof. See y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. So I'm sitting in traffic right now. Highway 5 in Douglasville, you know, for those of you who know where I am. And uh, I gotta admit, man, like, um, sitting back in my car, you know, from coming from the uh, from the scat pack is different, man. It's different. It's different. But this is my baby, though. This is my baby. I just wanted to, you know, I had to turn on the camera and let y'all know that, like, sitting in the 5 7 sitting in the RT, you know, and then sitting in the scat pack. It's, it's a different feel. I don't know what it is. It's, my car feels more seasoned, you know. It feels more experienced. Uh, scat pack, it's only got like 10,000 miles on it. But I don't know. It's a different feel. Alright, Fry Squad, so I've left soundproof oh so fast because basically the person who handles the remote starts you know and does the installs on that and who probably did the install on this remote start is not there i think that earlier when i went to talk to him he was there and then now he's not there but um i talked to randy and there was another guy there but they, you know, I kind of went through the whole spill with them, what Precision Tune was saying. And they had this look on their face like, oh, I don't know, what that doesn't sound right. And I was like, whatever. Because they obviously don't know about remote start systems. Because when I talked to the uh, guy who supposedly knows about remote start systems, he, you know, when I told him how much amperage they said it was pulling, he was like, oh, yeah, that sounds like a lot. So... Anyway, long story short, I had to make an appointment to uh, go back up to Soundproof so that Jason, the guy who does remote starts, can either disconnect 
um, either disconnect uh, the remote start kit or remove it completely um, hoping that he can just like disconnect I don't know either way I'm gonna have to pay some more money for them to do that because I guess you know I don't know man it's a business you know I thought you know I had a relationship with them and they was going you know just oh you having a problem let me see let me it ain't nothing they really have to do do like that I don't think so anyway but I don't know but um yeah man I'm kind of like down about it because I'm just like bruh I'm so ready for this to be over with but um on the bright side as far as I know I know what the problem is it's the remote start so it's Saturday right now I'm gonna have to wait until Tuesday I had to make an appointment wait to Tuesday to bring the car back up to them so they can remove the remote start kit or disconnect it one of the two uh, so I can be done with this issue